Good afternoon, Keith Tebow, FRC Media. Thank you for joining us today. You know, we've been talking a lot about how the state is reopening from COVID, and that means we're looking forward to what will we hope will be a somewhat normal summer and of, uh, of activity and entertainment. And uh, we want to specifically focus on today the Narrow Center for the Arts. They've got their event coming up uh, next weekend, June 5th, the Spindle City Fest. So I'm pleased to be joined by Patrick Norton, the executive director of the Narrow Center. Patrick, how are you? Nice to see you. I'm doing great, Keith. How are you doing? I am doing well. Uh, before we get into what's happening at the Narrows in general, I want to focus on the Spindle City Fest because that's, you know, Saturday, June 5th from 11 to 4 at uh, the gates, the Ponte Delgado uh, gates. Um, talk about, you know, how it came about this year and are there any differences? I mean, we're, we're going to be able to be fully open by June yeah. 5th. So talk a little bit about the setup and what people can expect. Well, it's kind of like our coming out party, our re-coming out, our re-entry into society. And I think for a lot of people, it'll be one of the first kind of public events that a lot of people are starting to go to. You, you can feel the change in the air out there. I was at the Vietnam Veterans Memorial event a few weeks ago, and you could sense the, an air of optimism that, yes, we're finally starting to get back to normal. So, you know, Spindle City Fest is a celebration of the arts. It's a free event for people all throughout, you know, the greater Fall River area. We've got stuff for kids. We've got stuff for adults, food, and some fabulous music. So in terms of the event, uh, I know this is not the first iteration of Spindle City Fest. Uh, you've held it in the past. Is it pretty much holding the same format or um, is it a little different, meaning that, you know, you had to kind of schedule this, you know, before the announcements of full opening. So how is it a little different, you know, uh, based on COVID? Well, usually we do Spindle City events inside the Narrows. So that the main difference is that we're holding this one outside of the gates because we, did, we weren't sure what the rules were going to be. And we figured it made sense to do an outdoor event. The gates is a great place to gather, a lot of parking in the area. So that's the first change. But it'll have the same components in that we've got two musical guests, Neil McCarthy Trio, uh, Neil and the Vipers, and we've got 20 art vendors and we've got four or five food vendors. So it's that, you know, that mix that we usually have. It's just going to be outside. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's a free event, open to all. And, you know, this is in, in some ways for a lot of people, as you said, this will probably be a, a kickoff for the 2021 summer season. And that's always good. As, as we all know, we all have this pent up need to get back out. So I'm hoping you're going to have a very good turnout. I'm sure you are as well, right? Yeah, I think I mean, we can feel it. I mean, we've been open partially at the Narrows and we're getting more full. Each day, it seems a little bit brighter. I mean, there, are, there is some hesitancy, but I think for an outdoor event, this shouldn't be fine. There's plenty of room out there. We've got some great, we're doing some spray paint art with our artist and residents, Kevin Lamaru for kids. He does these fabulous spray paint with stencils and the adults can participate as well. But it's kind of a very fam family centric event. I would highly suggest to bring a lawn chair or a blanket to, to sit out on the grass out there. We won't have chairs. And you might want to even bring your own lunch if you'd like to too. There will be some food available, but um, you know that, that's, that's an option for people if they're interested in that. Yeah. Very good. All right, let's talk about the Narrows. You know, last time we spoke, it was still uh, the Narrows in terms of uh, public accommodation and public events was still closed. Um, you know, you had done your best to do a lot of virtual events. I think they were almost held weekly, right? Some of the, the streaming of, yeah. of some performances and the like. Um, talk about, you know, what is happening now at the Narrows. It looks like you're going to be fully open uh, very soon. Um, you know, talk about how that transition has been. I know you've continued to receive uh, some generous support from a number of donors to keep the lights on, if you will, and to keep the building open. But um, how has this been for you and, and what can people expect as we uh, head to the full reopening? Well, we, like you said, the Narrows has been blessed. We've got a very, very strong community of supporters out there that, that like you have said, have kept the lights on. We did live streaming every Friday night for the past year. We've got two more live streams. We're actually going to do a hybrid mix of in-person and live stream shows. That's something that may continue in the fall. We're not exactly sure of that, but we thought we'd try this out now and try to get a feel for it. But I think people can come to expect that what they've always expected from the Narrows, a high quality musical and art experience. I mean, things haven't changed. The physical space is there. We've got a lot of the same musical acts that we've had in the past, plus a whole bunch more in the fall. I think we've got 66 shows now on our calendar from now to the end of the year. So we're super busy. We're hopeful people come out. You can be sure that we're gonna run a nice tight uh, family friendly experience inside the building as well. You know, I've asked a lot of people this as uh, the reopening continues. Is there anything, and you kind of alluded to it a little bit, is there anything from the COVID era, era that you may 
you know, transition to fully open. You mentioned about, you know, some of these hybrid events. I know you, you had yoga in the facility. Um, yeah. Are there any things that you hope to continue that you started during COVID? Oh, yeah, well, we did start. Yeah, yoga is going to continue. It was something we kind of, I don't want to say we were forced into, but we didn't have a lot of options for programming. And that was something that we thought would work. People seem to like it. We've added classes. We're doing yoga now on Tuesday nights at 530, Wednesday mornings at 10 and Saturday mornings at nine. So that started with one class. It's already morphed into three. We'll see how that grows. You know, the brewery is, is our tenant now. They've been They've been back open. So there's a lot of, it's amazing how in two or three weeks, I've seen the activity on the four of a waterfront increase exponentially. So it feels really, really good. Absolutely. No doubt about it. And uh, we want to thank you for joining us today. Patrick Norton, thank you for joining us again, June 5th, Spindle City Fest, free and open to the public right at the gates, uh, the Ponte Del Delgada gates right nearby. And they can park at, in the Narrows uh, lot and yep. other locations, correct? That's correct. Yep. Free parking. You can go to narrowcenter.org for all the, all the inform information that you need. Right. Not only about uh, Spindle City Fest, but all the great concerts and events happening at the Narrow Center. Patrick Norton, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Thanks, Keith. Thanks for having me. Bye. Uh, all right. And thank you for joining us here on FRC Media. Have a great day.